Hi, this is Yvonne Pran, and I would like to share with you a very subjective and personal comparison of PicMonkey, Snappa, and Canva. These are all online image editing and creation programs. Now before I get into showing you the details of them, let me just remind you that Effective Church Communications, which is, which is basically me, Yvonne Pran, that I do not take any outside advertising, I'll tell you about some of the stuff that I have, nor do I participate in any affiliate programs. That's where if I tell you to get something and you do, that I get paid for it. I just don't feel that that's right to do. I feel that it really kind of muddies the waters. So I just, just don't just wanted you to know that so that you understand that everything that I tell you about, everything I tell you about the programs, that it is what I totally honestly and personally feel is what is useful for church communicators and what I think will help you. Like I said, this is a very subjective and personal comparison. I'm doing it because one of the people who goes to the Effective Church Com website sent me an email and said, well, what do you think when I did a I'd, I'd actually done a snap a tutorial and she says how does it compare to Canva and PicMonkey and I said that is a great question but it's something that would be very hard to answer just verbally I felt like I needed to show her what I was talking about and so that's why I'm doing this video now don't worry about taking down the details of pricing or how to get to the different sites etc I will have all of those below the video on the Effective Church Communications website, EffectiveChurchCom.com, and you'll be able to link to all of the different ones. But right now, let's just jump to the programs and let me show you some of the highlights of what I think makes the different programs different. Again, this is not a completely detailed whatever thing, but I think it'll be helpful. Now, here we are in PicMonkey. You'll notice over here is this little sign that says beta. They are putting together a new version of it. I hope they don't mess it up. Up, but if for some reason you would get thrown into the beta version, you can just say, you can just click that little downward arrow and it will take you back to the original one. I didn't go through the sign up because many of you are already on this or you can just go to PicMonkey and sign up. You can sign up for a free trial. I don't feel like nowadays people need to, me to go through all that. But anyway, here we are at PicMonkey.com and I'm going to actually click what's called edit. Now this is what you do when you want to modify an image. Then this all pops up and I'm going to get something off my computer. This takes me to my file of images and I got this Christmas image from one of the free online image areas and I pick this because I want to show you a number of the different things that you can do with PicMonkey and you can't do this what I'm going to show you you can't do it with the other programs so the biggest deal is you can of course do your basic edits where you can crop it or um, you can rotate it things like that but here's where it gets very interesting you click this little magic wand here it's called effects and this is where you can greatly change things. It just has different, I don't know where they get the names, but you just have different things like this. See how it just does whatever. It just makes it darker. I can cancel it. We can, um, if you want, just darker edges. Makes the edges darker. It doesn't do a whole lot on that one. Where it gets kind of interesting is when you do some of these things like um, say the super black and white. Uh, it makes stuff really really bright and you can tone it down. But you might for some reason want something like that. I'm just going to cancel it. You might want the sepia tones going to cancel that and then you can do some very interesting things um, here they have here's this uh, uh, you, you just never know exactly what it's going to do but for some reason you just might want to change different things you can do things like that um, uh, Lomo let's see what that does I just made it red looking I don't know why they call it Lomo but whatever um, now then you can also do some very interesting things here are some where you can focus particularly when you have um, an area of the picture that really deserves focused attention let me show you some of the things you can do here we have a focus a focal zoom where it literally and you can move this is the center of it 
where you can literally blur everything out except for the central image and that's kind of neat. Another thing that you can do, I really like this, this is really pretty. You hit the focal black and white and then what it does is it makes everything outside your focal point black and white and just that in color. Isn't that pretty? Um, you could do some really neat, I think, Christmas things with this and you're probably going to be seeing on Effective Church Communications I will do a series of Christmas images and things doing something like this. They also have a number of seasonal images that you can put in and now this is going to be really stupid and you wouldn't want to do it but uh, say you wanted to add a little elf um, at the manger scene you could put that in there and um, maybe you want a little gingerbread for the baby Jesus and you could put that there and actually you would never do any of this or I would hunt you down but this kind of shows you some of the different things that you can you can put in um, you can also put um, cutouts where you can sh just show a different picture inside something and that can be kind of fun. Let's change the background on that. So you can do some really neat things in addition to just kind of dumb stuff also. Okay, here's a picture of me um, sitting in my little office. This is sort of embarrassing. This is a completely unretouched photo, but I wanted to show you. I, I looked at a lot of the other clip art ones that I thought, well, it wouldn't really be fair to do it to somebody else. But let me show you what you can do if you want to. Um, this is what you would do if you want to whiten teeth. You click on teeth whiten, and I can just go over this and whiten up my teeth a little bit and then obviously old lady that I am I have all these lines now see the reason a uh, little little uh, giveaway here that I usually wear glasses is because that covers them and I don't need to do that but say I had a picture oh yes I want to apply the teeth whitener say I did want to just get rid of some of these wrinkles all I do isn't that fun just go like that like that. Now, I don't think you should get rid of too many. I mean, you know, I'm obviously uh, been around the planet a little while, and so uh, we don't want to do that. But if we wanted to get rid of something like that, we could do that. We could do this. Um, and then the airbrush, <laughs> it's really kind of fun. Uh, yes, we want to apply the wrinkle remover. You can just, it just lightly sort of softens things. And, uh, just that gets rid of whatever and I think I look weird um, but uh, actually I you know I like myself not being airbrushed but you can do that if, if you want to do those kinds of things and you can um, add more mascara or eyeliner or eyebrow pencil and I I think that's just fine um, if you had red eye you could remove that you can uh, make yourself look a little thinner uh, well, let's just what, what, what would that look like if I did that wait loss apply I didn't see anything happen. Oh well, um, you know, I could do highlights on my hair, but it uh, wouldn't really matter that much because my hair is naturally just totally white. Um, but uh, as you can see, you know, there's just a number of different things that you could do also with PicMonkey just on image editing. Now, the other programs that I'm going to show you don't have that. So just in summary, PicMonkey, you can do all kinds of image manipulation with it. That that's what it's really good at. Now let's go over to canva.com and I just opened up my account and I've just got all kinds of stuff because I'm, I'm always playing around with it. And uh, let me just though show you something on this. With Canva they have a lot of different designs. Now where Canva's strong point is is as you can see they not only have different social media posts and things like that but they have magazine covers and a resume and they also have presentations they are really good at you might say more complex print layouts and they have absolutely fantastic templates. Let me show you, for example, the business card one. You can see all of these different templates here 
on the business cards and I think there's a lot of just really really nice ones now here is one I was kind of playing around with a little bit earlier good earth and you can see it's a free template and I'm going to click on it and it has two layouts almost all of the uh, business cards they have a front side and they also have a back side. And the reason I selected this one is that it's already got a typeface that I really like that I think is very, very nice. And Gail, who, Gail Hilkas, who writes for the website, she um, gave me a sample of something that I'm going to be having an article on, but where it was a card that they left behind at restaurants and places like that to say that we are praying for it. And so all you have to do is just highlight over the text and type in what you want. And here this is a little bit big. Then you go up here and you can shrink it down. And one of the things that's really nice also is on the spacing, say I want to bring it a little bit closer together, I can just do that. Now here, of course, it says Wellness Spa, and we don't want to say that. Maybe we'd say something like, your friends from such and such a church. Now maybe I want something different as the image, and here with Canva, you can simply get rid of one image. On the searching, let's say we type in something like flowers, and I would like illustrations. And you can see some of these different things. That's kind of pretty. Let's just see what that might look like. And you see, you pretty quickly and easily, you have really a nice little card. We're praying for you. You could have it be a colored background if you wanted. Let's just click on that. And we don't want any of the real shapes. Let's just see something like maybe this green. And here you've got that. Maybe we want to then change the text to a different color. Let's we're praying for you, your friends from whatever church. And you can see just with a few little clicks you can create some really neat things because we started out with a basic template. And this is what Canva is really good for. Um, a lot of their things I think do work better in print than they do on, well they work out fine online but some of the more complex things that you can do with it are just really great and they're they're very easy to do with Canva. One of the other things that Canva has is you can actually order print. Say you like this card and you just you just want to get something done, you want it quick, you want it easy, all you have to do is go over here to their ordering thing and say a hundred cards are just sixteen dollars and that is comparable to the pricing of online uh, cards. They would would only be uh, Vistaprint, for example, was something like $14.39. So very, very close in price. And they will ship it for free if you are okay with three to seven business days, which I think, you know, is, is just great. So if you want something done really quick, easy, get it printed, and you're done with it, Canva is the thing to do. Now what Canva does not do is you couldn't really modify any of these images. We could put uh, maybe a picture of something in a card, but you'd be stuck with a picture looking just like what that picture is. Canva, you can move things around, you can add things, you can change colors, but you can't really do any image manipulation of what you see on the screen. And then finally there's Snappa. And Snappa is my favorite and I think even more so after going through all this stuff on these other ones because Snappa is just so easy. If I want to make a graphic for something, all I have to do, and you, if you've watched the Snappa tutorial, you've seen that, is I just go into Snappa.com, I sign in, um, it, I want to make a graphic, let me just pick this Instagram post, and I can either use one of their pre-designed templates, or I can click on making my own all I have to do, click on a background. Let's just say, okay, what do we want? Um, let's do something for Christmas. And there are thousands of images. I think they have like 600,000 or something like that. And the thing that I really like about it is they're all free. That's one thing, like I said, that really bugged me with um, Canva is some of them are free, some of them aren't. Uh, some of the templates are free, some aren't. But with this, everything is free. Like, Snappa has a lot of images like this where they have it where it's offset and very easy for you to put your own text in there. So something like this, if you wanted to make a uh, really super quick online graphic, say for a gift exchange coming up, you just plop that in there, hit text, 
and let's just uh, let's just do subhead just for whatever and all you have to do is do that in you just click on it and obviously I think we would want something a little bit more interesting for a um, for the typeface now see with um, pick monkey they have just many 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 of them and they are organized by by the type of typeface they are this one they just alphabetize them which is in some ways kind of a really dumb way to do it but whatever um, okay let's just use Princess Sophia now something like this let's just go ahead and change the spacing and a fancy type like this we might want to make the lines a little further apart and maybe even space them out a little bit more and see it's really easy line height line whatever now what you could do on this too uh, very quickly and easily you if you wanted to make it a little bit the print a little fancier you could actually let's go ahead and actually make it red but to make it so that you can see it better what you can do is you can go over here to the offset and pick the white but you see how with the offset it just kind of outlines it in white and it it matches the packages there and with snap it you can do things so quickly so easily you just save this now be aware that the save buttons over here the title of it I'm going to say Christmas design is all the way over there and then you have to go over here for the save which I think was just a bad uh, you know just sort of design thing of theirs but just remember to do that because it will let you download it even if you haven't saved it and then once you download it and you close this it doesn't automatically save and I've lost no end of images that I did very very quickly just because I didn't save it properly so Snappa to me is it's the best thing for just quick and easy social media and online images all of the images you see on the Effective Church Communications website now are all made with Snap it. This is all I use right now. But it won't let you do any image manipulation. You can't do all those kind of fancy things. But if you just want something where you want an image, you want it quickly, this is the one to get. So the bottom line of this totally subjective overview is I like and I use all of the programs. There's no way that any one of them overall is really better than any other. It simply depends on what you want to do. PicMonkey does stand alone in that you can do wonderful complex image manipulation very easily with it and you can you can just do all kinds of, of fun things and, and change how pictures look and change the color and put spotlights and make them black and white do all those kind of things you can't do that with any of the other programs with them you can't do any of the image manipulation you can move things around but you can't change the image so PicMonkey is really fantastic in that way also if you do want to do any uh, photo editing of people it will do that uh, Snappa is the easiest it's my go-to program for quick online and social media graphics I love it for that it's fantastic for that um, and it's probably what I use the most then Canva is great for the print templates that it has. Um, I do a lot of my book covers and things like that with Canva. And I'm thinking about ordering some of their online cards. That does kind of interest me how they do that. And I'll let you know how it goes. Now for the rest of the information and all of the pricing and uh, just a, a summary of what I've said is at www.effectivechurchcom.com and also there will be more uh, materials coming actually on all these programs on the churchcom train church training.com site forgive me for that so anyway I hope that helped a little bit enable you to see the differences of the different programs and now may the Lord bless you and keep you strong and encouraged as you serve him today in church communications